From what I've experienced, hourglass fights amongst the seas have really taken a toll on many pirates' mentalities, and I'd be lying if I were to say that I wasn't amidst the crowd. However, I have figured out a way to fight for your chosen faction to raise your allegiance, all whilst actually enjoying yourself and making friends along the way. Well, I'm Captain Daddy, and join me for an opportunity you do not want to miss. Anyone that has heard my previous tale in which I attempted to fight for the Servants of the Flame whilst collecting treasuries from vaults know that I have never been a fan of these all-out naval battles. However, over on my Twitch, people have been hearing me losing my mind after sinking over and over and over or spending hours chasing down just one ship. Especially if you haven't got much time on the seas as you've had other duties on land, this can be really disheartening, but recently I have started to relish it, and here's how. Where you'll find most of these rage-induced pirates is solo slooping, as time and time again they will have been sunk, pushing for one of the greatest honours, second only to the pirate legend, which is being cursed or blessed by your chosen faction in a huge ceremony. Now I know many pirates struggle finding others to sail with them and do this, However, I have two options for you which have improved my mental state hugely and I would recommend to anyone struggling through this grind. My first option is a shameless plug, however many others have already joined my discord which you can find the link to in the description below and anytime they need a crewmate, they will ask and you can join them or you can ask yourselves and bring on board as many others as you'd like. I know I'm not the only pirate to host their own Discord tavern, so join them all out there and ask away as you can never be sure who you might meet and what adventures you may get up to. Now before I mention the final and best way I've found to enjoy myself in these horrific battles, just know that whilst you are sailing with others and not alone, you must focus on the crew, just enjoy each other's company celebrate and cheer together with every victory and laugh manically as you all sink to the depths and before long you will be soaring through the ranks and ever closer to your blessings and curses. Which ones have you gotten already and if none like me which ones are you going for? As I'm sure you're eager to hear though I have found my favourite way of taking these new battles and I have since been enjoying more and more of these fights. I introduce you to my new baby, the Curse Hunter. This galleon has one purpose and one purpose only. Push pirates from around the world to achieve allegiance in the most fun way possible, as once per month I host a community galleon day over on my Twitch, and if you are not there for them, you sure are missing out. I cycle through three other pirates at a time as we sail off, mostly sinking but sometimes winning the most epic victories and as we all make a push towards the goals that we want. Not once did anybody feel frustrated or even raise their voice, however this to me felt like something that was needed. Diving down knowing you may rise up to be taken out and sank in less than 2 minutes can be devastating to any pirates that is trying to better themselves. However, sailing with others who are all a separate skill level, with no expectations from anyone, created such an amazing community experience, where all were able to have fun, relax and just talk. Believe me, I know some pirates need this, as I too was in the same boat, pardon the pun. But I'd urge you, if you're having a difficult time, then join my discord and you'll be welcomed with open arms. And to help this community to continue to grow, you would help out more than you realise if you like this tale and subscribe to hear more of my stories like this. However, if you are not convinced yet on why you should join us, let me tell you of just one of the battles we faced that day. After many victories and sinks throughout the day, the crew were all in a funny mood, and what started as a joke, quickly change them into threatening to throw me in the brig. As the captain of the curse hunter I was not going to let this happen, so I dove under the ocean for us to face up against an enemy galleon. However I was too slow and as we dove down, I found myself behind bars, 
but it was not long before we began to rise up and fight against another foe. As I'm sure you're aware, starting a naval battle whilst your captain is locked in the brig isn't a great way to begin, but my crewmates were determined to fight this out, and they began to do just that. Amongst all of the firing of the cannons, I could hear boarders and managed to give my crew the heads up and save us from that, and before long, I was released and we managed to fix up the ship, allowing us to get back into the fight. I hopped in the water, setting them on fire and creating what I really didn't expect to be the most insane wildfire on the seas, before returning back on board to unleash more carnage. As we tried to, however, they sent more and more boarders to us, until one was able to get on deck and dropping our anchor, before lighting our master blaze. We managed to raise, however they parked right in front of us, and now both anchors were lowered as our two galleons sat on the waves with fires that we were not expecting. Whilst trying to keep on top of our vessel and put out the fire, my crewmates took it upon themselves to board the other vessel and face the other pirates. There was much back and forth between the two ships as we tried to destroy them with fire, but sooner than we had anticipated, both of us were now completely lit up, and as we all were burning, our food supplies were running very low, and there was not much either of us could do, so I had to come up with a plan, and fast. Eventually, I was able to raise the masts of our ship, before raising the anchor and turning the galleon. pointing our cannons their way and unleashing a barrage of cannonballs upon them. As we continued the assault, they began to panic and as we took them out repeatedly, both sides were burning up. Meeting with the ferryman more and more often than usual, until finally, thanks to our cannon positioning, we were able to overcome them and sink this galleon before bailing out our own ship and eventually putting out all of the fires. If that's not one of the most pirate tales you've heard, I don't know what is, other than stealing some gold of course. However, sailing along with other people in the same boat as you makes a huge difference. So truly, if you want these curses and blessings, but doing the fight solo is destroying your mental, the Discord is free and open to all, and we can have all kinds of fun together. However, if you'd like to see a real pirate tale of action and stealing and adventure, click this tale on screen now. Arrgh.